Hey guys, this um, video is for my FCA group at Glasgow High. They're cheerleaders. I've not got to be with them for um, about two weeks now. So I've really been missing those girls and I promised that I would do something special for them. So that's what I'm doing today. I have researched and found seven good yoga poses for cheerleaders to help them with flexibility, agility, strong arms and body, make them stronger when they're, when they're uh, doing their cheers and leading the team. Did you realize that cheerleaders are some of the most flexible and courageous athletes there are? A lot of times they're not given credit for being an athlete. They think that uh, people think of them more as um, um, something to fill in the spots that um, are, are lagging or in a, in a game, but they are actually athletes. They work really, really hard. So I'm going to show them like about seven poses that's good for them and tell them what parts of the body it's working. But before that, I want to talk to my girls. Um, there are about 14 of them at Glasgow High. They range from freshman to senior. Beautiful bunch of girls. But what I want to encourage them to do is when you are on the floor or when you are out in public or when you're at school or when you're on the field or when you're even by yourself, remember that everything you do in life, do it for the glory of God. Not for your glory, but for his glory. So before every practice and before every game, I hope you take time to group together and pray. Pray for strength, pray for um, a good outcome, whether you win or lose, but pray for help, for God to give you help that you need to get through the game. Be a unified team. Division in a team is not good. You must be unified. If you're divided in any way, before you start a, a game, then you're not gonna work very well together. So try your best to stay unified. Stay away from gossip. Stay away from conflict. Be kind and humble with each other. Work hard at all times to hold yourself up high, as a high standard. The Lord's high standard but be yourself at the same time. Sportsmanship, very, very important. It, without sportsmanship, you know, you're, you're, not, you're letting your team down, you're letting yourself down if you don't practice good sportsmanship. Protect each other, be each other's friends, be each, each other's confidant. But most important, more than anything else, keep God in the middle of your practice and in the middle of your workout, in the middle of your game, and in your life. So we're going to get started. And probably I will have help if she wakes up out of my lap. She will, she will be showing you some of these poses herself. The first one we're going to do I've showed you before, and you all hate this pose. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, I hate it too. It's called a chaturanga. What that is, is you go into a plank position, not a half plank, but a full plank, and you drop yourself down to where you're hovering above the floor. And while you're, and why that's important is that that pose uh, tones your abs and builds strength in your upper body your arms and your shoulders. So that's what that pose does. It is not an easy pose. And if you fall out of it every once in a while, that's fine. So first off, I'm going to show you the modification to a chaturanga. Because not everyone can do a chaturanga. You need to work your way into it. So first off, we're going to go to down dog. We're going to stretch out. Now the modification, 
while you're in your plank, you feel your muscles in your body, in your shoulders, in your chest, in your abs, in your legs, are all working, okay? So from, to modify it, you drop to your knees, then you drop your shoulders, upper body toward the floor, and you scoop up into what we call cobra, stretch out your back, then go up to up dog, your knees come up off the floor, curl your toes back under, and return back to down dog. Come to your knees. Now that can be done through several rotations right before you start practice to warm you up. And then if you wanna do a chaturanga, which I'll do one, and you need to try to get to where you could hold that chaturanga for a few seconds. So you get in position. Concentrate on your position, getting your body correct, your shoulders, your core, your legs. You feel all those muscles, your glutes. Breath is very important. So we're going to shift forward. I have a feeling my head may be outside of the camera range. And we're going to drop slowly with our elbows tucked. And then we're going to hold and drop. Then we'll go into our cobra. We'll go into our up dog. We'll go into our down dog. And we'll come back to our knees. And we'll go to the child's pose. We'll do it again. It's hard to do a chaturanga and talk at the same time. So I'm going to go sideways so you can see a little better what the chaturanga looks like. Am I going to be able? I'm okay? Okay. I'm going to get in position. I've worked on my shoulders. My hands are right underneath my shoulders. My core is activated. I'm breathing. I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. I'm going to shift my body forward. I'm going to feel my elbows begin to tuck. I'm going to hover. And then I'm going to drop. Inhale up. Roll back to down dog and go back to your knees. Okay, I'm gonna ask my cameraman, how was that? Okay, we'll move to the next one, down dog. Okay, down dog. Woo! Down dog is a great pose. It strengthens and elongates your spine. It builds strength again in your arms and shoulders and in your back. It stretches your hamstrings and your calves. It helps your feet, the arches in your feet. It helps your wrist and your hands. It improves your digestive system. It relieves back aches, headaches, Fatigue and stress. Helps your nervous system. It's a fun pose. So here we go. She's doing down dog. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna bring, we're going to our knees. Our knees are hip width apart. Our hands are shoulder width apart. Our shoulders are over our wrist. Curl our toes under. We're gonna bring our hips up toward the ceiling. Shift back so that our ears are in line with our upper arms. Our chin is tucked. Now, when you're new at this, you may not be able to bring your feet flat to the floor, and that's okay. Or you may wanna walk your feet up until you can get your feet flat. Okay, now we're gonna to wanna to bend our knees because we never wanna lock our knees. We'll bend our knees just a little bit and shift our pelvis forward. When 
we shift the pelvis forward, that activates the core. And we're going to breathe. Remember, don't lock your knees. Slight bend. Now, it's recommended to do this for about a minute. So in that minute, you can do things that breaks it up. You can do wide legs. You can grab your ankles and stretch. You can do a three-legged dog. Whoop, sorry, a three-legged dog. You can do it flat foot and tippy toe to work those calf muscles. Remember, whatever you do one side, you must do to the other. Okay, and then come back down, and that's down dog. The next thing is chair. A chair is not my favorite pose. Sounds easy, but it's not. It works the muscles of your shoulders, your arms, and all around your chest. It strengthens your leg muscles. It strengthens your hip flexors, your back, your calves, and your ankles. It aids in reducing flat feet. It stimulates your abs, your heart, and your diaphragm. And as you're holding that, we'll hold that for a little while. If you're holding that pose for several seconds or several breaths, you're going to end up feeling your glutes tighten, so it's going to help your booty too. So here we go. We're going to stand up. We're going to bring our feet six inches apart so that our hips are in line with our ankles. We're going to concentrate on our posture, okay? So shoulders are back, head is up. Think about a book on your head. Concentrate on how you your body feels. You don't want to be like this. So then we're going to inhale up. We're going to exhale our arms down parallel. Inhale. And begin setting back, leaving our feet flat. Our big toe, little toe, heel is holding us up. Your arch is lifting up in the center, causing your arch to, to work. Your core is pulled in to protect your back. You bring your arms up. You look like a thunderbolt. Work your arms, depending on how your back is feeling. Take your hips toward the floor. Your pelvis forward. Breathe. And inhale back up. And bring your hands to prayer. Very good. The next pose is called Warrior Three. But you'll usually hear me call it airplane or balancing stick. Whew. This one, again, stretches what we're trying to work on as cheerleaders our hamstrings, our outer thighs our arms, our back, our shoulders, how our chest and our lungs work in these poses. And while you're holding this, you've got to hold it. So you've got to concentrate, works on your balance and your breathing. Man, does it work on your concentration. So if you fall out, it's okay. Go back and try it again. Okay, we're going to inhale up. Bring your hands down. Remember, we're human, we're not perfect. There's only one perfect human, and that was Christ. So we're gonna step forward with the left, right foot, find something that's not moving. We're gonna to go to tippy toes on the left foot. We're gonna raise our arms up toward the sky. We're gonna feel our body begin to stretch as we're breathing. Inhale, exhale, we're going to lean 
into it very slowly. Until we're straight. And then we're gonna hold it. And release. And come back. Now, this leg I'm having trouble with. I'll just tell you the truth. Yoga teachers have problems with muscles just like anybody else. I may fall out on this side. We're gonna inhale up. I'm trying to strengthen it just like I'm trying to get you to strengthen stuff. Bring your hands to prayer. Step forward with the left foot. Keep your toe on the right. Concentrate, inhale. Exhale, tip forward. In through your nose, out through your nose. And release. I have pulled my, I've got sciatica problems on this leg, which I'm working through. It's not stopping me. Oh, this next pose is not a favorite pose of mine. It's camel. Uh, this is a full body stretch. It stretches everything. Chest, arms, abs, back, hips, you name it, it stretches it. Uh, And this is also a pose that helps to build strength in your triceps, glutes, back muscles, thighs, and even improves your posture. Uh, let's see, I don't know what, what's the best way of showing this. I guess turning this way. You as cheerleader are probably already flexible enough that you have no problem with this pose. Me, I do, okay? So what a lot of people do uh, is they leave the tops of their feet flat and they bring one arm back and one hand, another hand back and keep everything straight, okay? My back will not do that. So I will show you as far as I can get. My hips need to stay straight. I reach back and you see I can't reach my heels, okay? Back won't let me. That's okay. Woo. That pose will also make you lightheaded. <laughs> so this is the way I have to do it. This is Tibetan style. I curl my toes under. I get my mind set on what I'm doing. Don't just run right into a pose. Get yourself uh, Get your mind and your body and your breath ready for that pose. Don't, don't just jump right into it, okay? So I'm getting my body. So I'll reach back with one hand and I'll grab my ankle. My shoulders will stay in line. My hips are in line. I'll raise the other one up. This is advancement to this pose. And I'll drop back and shift my hips forward. And then I'll come back up and I will go to child's pose. Now I built that in my back, in my hips, in my shoulders, in my chest. And then I'll come back up. And you remember what I told you before, since I do it the advanced way, I have to do it twice instead of just being able to do it one time. So, Whatever you do on one side, you gotta do it on the other. So here we go, inhale up. We're gonna exhale down. I'll get my body ready. I'll reach back and grab the opposite ankle. Square everything up. Arm comes up, drop back. And then slowly bring myself back up. And go back to child's pose. Next one is tree. Tree is another one that works on your entire body. 
most of all concentration and breath. And it's a little tricky, it works on those, on those feet. So it's good if you're barefoot. A lot of times when I work with cheerleaders, they won't leave their shoes on because that's what they're used to doing in practice. But if you can take your shoes off and do barefoot yoga, you'll get more uh, benefit on your feet and legs, okay? So we're gonna go in the tree and I'm gonna leave my feet together. We're working on getting center line right down through here, okay? If you're in a gym, usually you'll do this. That's just a gym way. But we usually keep our feet together when we practice hockey yoga, okay? So I'm gonna find my position. I'm gonna concentrate again. I'm gonna go to mountain. I'm gonna inhale up. I'm gonna bring my hands to prayer. This works on your posture. Cheerleaders need beautiful posture, okay? So we're gonna bring one leg up and we're gonna bring it right here. And we're gonna hold our balance. And see how my big toe, my little toe heel is gripping that floor? My hips are in line. It's hard to do it on carpet. Hips are in line, my knee is going back. So I'm opening up that hip, feeling it in the back of my leg and my thigh. And then you can take your treat out, your limbs out if you want. Do it on one side, let's do it on the other. Inhale up, down. Do not put it on your knee. Press your, your knee that's bent out so you can feel the inner thigh. And then go into your tree. And release. Now the advancement to that is called half lotus tree. Let's see if I can do that, okay? I'll just do it on one side. Okay, we're gonna inhale up. We're gonna bring it down. And you can go many more poses after this to advance it out, but we'll just do these two. I'm gonna bring the leg up. I'm gonna reach and grab my foot. I'm gonna bring my foot to my top of my hip on my thigh and then I will bring my arm up or out and I'm looking at something that's not moving shoulders relaxed okay I will try to do the other side this leg is weak okay Bring it up, grab, and I don't think that will hold me up, but that's okay. I'm working through it. The very last pose is reverse plank. And that's another one that will work everything about your body. It's all body pose. Are you not helping mama now? Are you mad at mama? So reverse plank. Okay, bring here. Okay. You bring your hands behind you. Palms going down. You're gonna grip those hands into the into the floor. We'll work those arms. Roll the shoulders back. You're gonna inhale. Lift your hips. And release. Lift the hips. And release. Now some people can't put their feet flat and they do it this way, that's fine. Okay, so that's the seven poses I found that I thought would be good for you. Whew. And then after that, I would suggest that you either go into child's pose or go into a forward fold child's pose and just relax. So here we go. Inhale, take your hips back, head down, arms outstretched. You can leave your knees together or apart. I, in fact, like to leave mine wide apart to help stretch my hips.
<laughs> this baby. And for my cheerleaders at Glasgow that don't like this pose, you need to work on it a little bit. Reclining hero. So here we go, sitting hero. This is a, this is an extra one. Daddy's going. Ah! So here we go. This opens up those all those hips, stretches those legs. Daddy's going. I hate this pose. Put your fingers to your toes. Lay back. Take your time. And keep those knees on the floor. And when you come out of it, you come up one elbow at a time into your back and reclining in, in a and hear them, and then you just bring yourself out. Hope you enjoyed this. It was fun being with you. Uh, this is my first one doing this series. I'm a little nervous, but I love my girls, and I hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for being with Yoga Daddy and Yoga Mama and Kelly Caliente. She's my right. And uh, yeah, she walked away just for a moment. This is the Rev, Revelation Yoga, uh, that we're carrying forward, our Revelation School of Yoga and yoga classes. So watch for online, watch for Facebook Live, and uh, we'll be coming to you soon with some more of this series and breaking it down for various different athletes and different walks of life and every, everyday living. So we appreciate you guys being with us. God's blessings. Namaste. Bye-bye.